Welcome to the testing world. So this is the last video of code management in SOAP UI using Git. In previous sessions, we have seen how a person can share his code on the remote repository. So now in this session, I'll take the clone of data files or project from the repo remote repository to my local repository. Cloning means my team member is going to take data which I have shared. So we can call it copy as well. Whatever the data I have shared on the remote repository, my team member copying the data into the local system. So for cloning, first he'll have to go to any location and we'll have to create a folder. So I have created a folder over here. Need to move on the command prompt on this folder. So I am just starting a command prompt on this folder. And we need to write git clone and we need the URL of my repository. So we have already seen the URL. I'll show it again. You can go to the repository here on the clone or download. You will get the URL. So I just copied that URL. Paste it over here. So command is git clone and the URL. Enter. So it is copying all the data to your local system or I'll say the local repository. Going inside the folder and this is behaving as a local repository of my team member and we get the project over here. So my team member got the project which I have shared. Now on SOAP UI, go and import that project. So I'm moving to that location. That's the project I just selected and here we are getting that project. Whatever the changes you want to make it in this project, like I'm going to add one more step, Groovy Script 1, whatever the changes you want to do, do it and just saved it. So for saving, right click on the project, save project. As we have saved, the changes should reflect over here, like because we have changes, we have saved the changes, so changes should come over in this project. Again, as a, you know, as a team member, I have made some changes and I want to save my changes into the remote repository. So the process is same. I'll right click on this project, git bash. And as you know, first of all, I want to check the status. So git status here, it shows like this is the file which is modified. You will have to add it. So hope you remember git add. We are adding it. We are tracking that file. And the file name was, so my file is added. If I check now, git status, so the file is added. Now the process is same. You are going to commit and push the changes. And once you push, the changes will reflect here in the remote repository. So here we have seen how a team member can clone project from remote repository to the local repository, open project in the SOAP UI, make changes, save it, and then again the process is same, track, commit, and push, which we have already seen in the previous session. So by this way, all the team members will take the project from the remote repository, going to make in the project, and then again sharing back to the remote repository. So that's the complete end-to-end -end process we have seen in last few videos by which we can share the code between the team. That's all we have for the session. Thanks for watching this video.